When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills for his message to be heard, for his deen to be heard by everyone, Hayya asbaba. Allah will make the scenes. Allah will prepare it. How many Imams are leading Taraweeh and they have the most beautiful voices in the face of this earth now? Countless. Countless. How many? Countless. Allah chooses one Imam from Algeria. One Imam from Algeria leading Taraweeh. And a silly thing that you wouldn't even pay attention to it. If it happens in front of you, you wouldn't pay attention to it. A cat jumps on his shoulder, huh? and somehow plays, messes around with his face, and give him a kiss and jumps down. I'm sure you've seen that. Of course, a lot of Muslims, many of Muslims, many of Muslims, and non-Muslims, what captured them is the interaction. The exchange between the Imam and the cat. But have you ever paid attention to the verses he was reciting? Ever thought about these verses? This is, brothers and sisters in Islam, there is a chapter in the Quran. Allah brought it down at night. Called the An'am. 70,000 angels. And by the way, the number 70,000 is just like now, of course, millions now is, a, is, is not a lot anymore. When you say trillion, that countless, yani. 70, استغفر لهم أو لا تستغفر لهم إن تستغفر لهم 70 مرة. It's not 70 here. That doesn't mean 70. It's not limited to 70. But the number 70 used to be big for them. Likewise, 700,000 angels came down with this chapter. The companions, there is a hadith regarding this. The Prophet ﷺ received it while he was traveling with them. This chapter, brothers and sisters in Islam, the essence of it is Tawheed. Tawheed, the monotheism. Yes, it's called the cattles or Al-An'am, but monotheism is the essence of this subject, of, of the subject of the surah. And the surah has another name. Another name. And subhanallah, this other name was mentioned in the verses the imam was reciting. The, the other name is called al-hujjah. قُلْ فَلِلَّهِ الْحُجَّةُ الْبَالِغَةِ فَلَوْ شَاءَ لَهَدَاكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ Hujjah means crystal clear evidence, something that you cannot refute, you cannot question. He recited these verses, brothers and sisters in Islam, as he interact, as he interacted with the cat. Ah, CNN broadcasted this video, CNN, imagine that. Non-Muslims. But again, what attracted their attention was the cat, that we normally portray these imams to be weird, to be mean, to be psychopath, huh? to be crazy, losing it. Huh? But look at this imam. He's, having, he's reciting the Quran in salah, and a cat bothers him. And here he is showing compassion and love. And that also shows you, brothers and sisters in Islam, that side of the religion is, attra is the attraction. That side in, the, in Islam is the attraction. Abdullah ibn Salam, the first Jewish rabbi who accepted Islam in the history of humanity. He said, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam arrived Medina, I heard about him. So I wanted, I wanted to check him out to see if he's truthful or not. So I went to see him. He was surrounded with the, by the people, a lot of crowd around him. But I looked at his face. This is not a lying face. These eyes do not lie. This face doesn't lie. This person doesn't lie. And the first words I heard him uttering from his mouth, Ayyuhannas. 
O people, أفشوا السلام Spread peace amongst you أطعموا الطعام Feed those who are hungry and needy وصلوا الأرحام Uphold your kinship ties وصلوا بالليل والناس نيام Pray at night while people are asleep تدخلوا الجنة بسلام Imagine the first words he heard the Prophet uttering it's, it's exactly like the cat and the imam These are the words that attract the people Brothers and sisters in Islam These are the words